All right, hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now it's the first week in January, 2023, and here in zone 9A, we have about seven weeks until our last expected frost date of March 1st. So for me, this year on this channel, I'm doing everything from the seed. I'm not buying any starts from any stores. Everything will be grown from seed and planted in the garden. So I'm gonna go through this video and explain everything that you need to know about starting your seeds. So let's grow. First thing you need to do is get your seeds. Second thing you need to do is get a seed starter mix, not a potting soil. Potting soil is not what you want to use to grow your seeds from the beginning. You want a seed starting mix. Now, I went to Lowe's a little while ago and this is what they had. Jiffy seed starting mix. They also had potting soil and rose soil and every other soil you can imagine. But what you want is a seed starting mix. And, and the reason for that is, is this mix is specifically designed to incubate and germinate your seeds. Whereas like a potting soil has a lot more nutrition in it and it's clumpier and, and thicker. Seed starting mix is normally basically cocoa core or peat moss. And it's just designed to give your seed a nice warm, hand to glove so it can germinate. Once your seeds start to grow and they get too big for the cell that you planted them in, then that's when you start up potting. And we'll get into that in another video. But for now, what you wanna get is a seed starting mix, your seeds, and then whatever you're gonna grow your seeds in. I don't now, like the growing cells that are that real thin plastic that you go to push the, the plug up and they all falls apart and then your cell breaks and cuts and I, I'm just done with those. So about two months ago, I was at Walmart and walking along and I happened to come across this. Now, I have never used this. I'm not affiliated with them. I have no clue if this is gonna be worth anything or not, but I'll show you what caught my eye. So what caught my eye was the bottom. And if you can see that, it's just a plastic, reusable, flexible bottom. So I'm assuming these are going to be really good to be able to reuse. And I'm thinking that you could be able to pack in the soil good and then push the plug up. So we're going to see. I bought a few of these and it comes with the watering tray. So you'll just sit everything right like that. Put a heat mat underneath and then you start growing your seeds it did not come with a dome which is fine i don't need a dome here with the way i grow my seeds but again first thing you need seed starting mix seeds and your trays so let's keep going if we look down inside the bag of the seed starting mix you can tell there's it's very soft very loose material what we're going to do is add it to a bucket get it wet you don't want it sopping wet to where when you squeeze it it's just pouring out like a sponge you want it moist not super wet okay so once you have your seed starting mix now it's just time to fill up your cells get your seeds in label and go now that we have the seed starting mix uh, pre-moistened time to fill up your, your trays the key to this that I've learned is that when you fill up your tray you want to pack in each cell you don't want it super loose because whenever you go to push the plug up to transplant your seeds or your starts you want that plug to be tight so when I'm packing this in when I'm putting in the soil here you're gonna see I'm gonna be pushing down on it that's a key it, it'll help you in the long run too Okay, everybody, and that's it. This tray is now ready to put seeds in. Now this year, I'm gonna go really heavy on jalapenos. I am dedicating, I'm giving part of my garden to a friend of mine's son who wants to grow stuff in the garden. And one of the things that he mentioned were jalapenos. So, because I lost all of my, 
all of my jalapenos because of that freeze, this entire tray is going to be nothing but jalapenos. So I'm not gonna have to label this because I'm gonna know exactly what this tray is. Next step and the final step really is getting the seeds into the cells. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two seeds in each one of these holes and you're only going about, what is that, about a quarter of an inch deep. And you might not even, and it might actually be a little too deep, but that's all right. Okay, and there it is. These are the first seeds of the year of the seed for here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. Okay, so starting your seeds is not, is not hard. It's just getting the process started and documenting when you're starting everything. Uh, and you're also having to backtrack and back plan from your last expected frost date. So I advise you, everyone watching this video, find out when your areas, your zones, last expected frost date is, and then start back planning your seeds if you're gonna go this route. Now, I do wanna say one thing. This way does take more time there's a lot more planning involved in doing seeds like this instead of just going to Lowe's or Home Depot or you know wherever and just grabbing a start and throwing it in the ground. But last year, I noticed the start, the cost of starts jumped like, I think it was like $3 each start. So what two years ago, the starts were I think $4.58 at Lowe's or Home Depot and last year they were like $7.98 for the exact same thing from the year before. So I was like, oh no, I'm done. This packet right here from Lowe's is 279, and you saw how many seeds I just planted. So I can easily have 16 plants if each one of these cells grow for 279. So mathematically, it makes a lot more sense to me to start growing from seed. And then also, the whole reason I'm doing the year of the seed here on this channel is because I need to get better at growing seeds and everything that comes with growing seeds because this is just the first step. There's a lot more that comes with your start, which we will be going over between now and March 1st um, on upcoming videos. So everyone, I hope you all enjoy this video. If you all have not subscribed to this channel yet and I've earned your subscription today, please by all means hit the subscribe button, share this video, like the video, comment. I love comments if you're brand new to this channel. And until next time everyone, continue to shine bright and prepare for spring. It's right around the corner. Bye. This packet right here from Home Depot, or where did I get this? from this packet right here from Lowe's is I do not like the little black seed and I don't have any out here which is kind of shocking okay so